The poison barbs on the tentacles of the nudie branch protect it from predators, which is just as well, as he moves at a snail's pace and can't get anywhere fast. The sea anemone, despite being an animal, can't get anywhere at all, as it is rooted to the bottom. It protects itself in a similar way and has very few enemies. The dahlia anemone, a close cousin, is also an animal to avoid touching. In addition to stinging, it can protect itself by closing up when danger looms, like the one here on the left. The one on the right is half closed. Sponges contain substances that make them taste horrid, but are also covered in minute needles that cause irritation, which keep them off the menu for most sea creatures. They also contain little edible nourishment. Crustaceans, however, manage to find a few edible morsels on their outsides. It can also come in handy to fit in with your surroundings. This crab sticks bits and pieces of vegetation and rubbish on his shell to create a fancy camouflage outfit. Small animals often use this ploy to hide from predators. Unlike nudie branches and sea anemone, the crab can run and hide, or draw himself into a shell. Here we see how the lower crab creates a shield with his claws in the opening. Soft-shell clams dig down into the mud, like some species of crab. Digging down into the silt, like this Atlantic rock crab or Piquito crab. Though mostly hidden, the sand is teeming with life. We see here the lugworm casts. In the sand there are also other polychaete worms, cyprines and crabs. We can only see the opening of the cyprine shell. This amphipod is rummaging in the sand and burrowing. Scallops clam themselves tightly together and are hermetically sealed. The same applies to mussels. Safely sealed in except if a wolf fish or a starfish comes on the scene. They have the necessary equipment to do a break-in. Here is a green sea urchin. Urchins have both shells and spines, a sort of sea porcupine. The eggs of the sea urchin are a delicacy which few get to taste. Armed with a knife, strong gloves and a stone, a diver can find himself a seafood feast. Here we see a green sea urchin as well as a red sea urchin. Two of the three species of sea urchin found in Iceland. In the background are cod fry.